So you're ready to learn facial mocap, but you don't know where to start. Not a problem. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is prepare your face model properly. Trust me, you do not want to be fixing your face in the middle of the shape key process. Start by checking the inside mouth. If you don't have an inside mouth model, every time the character opens their mouth, you will see a transparent void. Second, don't forget the teeth. People look weird without teeth, so don't be weird. Have some teeth. Just put a row for the top and a row for the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure they exist. Another thing that people usually have is tongues. Not having a tongue also looks kinda weird, so don't forget your tongue. Something else that you wanna make sure that you have is eyebrows. The most attractive people in the world look hella creepy without eyebrows, so make sure that those are there. All right, now let's talk about eyes. You need to know ahead of time if your eye is a ball or if it's flat. If you're doing photorealism, odds are your eye is a ball. If you're doing anime though, they're probably flat. The reason this is important is if your eyes are a ball, the pivot point for the eye rotation is gonna be in the middle of the eyeball. But if the eyes are flat, the pivot point is gonna be farther back in the head. Most characters in Super Smash Bros. don't have eyeballs. If you try and place the pivot point where you would normally put it for a ball, you'll get some really freaky problems. So pivot point here, not here. Okay, so you got your left eye, your right eye, your brows, your upper teeth, your lower teeth, your tongue, and the inside of the mouth. Next thing you want to do is combine any meshes that should be together. This is the Smash Ultimate model of Rosalina, and as you can tell, her face comes in three different parts, which is not very useful for us. So we're going to combine these meshes together. But before you combine things, always rename the UV maps to be the same. If you look here, you'll see that each of the UV maps has a different name. Make sure they all have the same name before you combine them. So click, shift click, shift click, right click, and join. Okay, now that everything is the same object, you gotta make sure they don't have any overlap in vertices. If we click on the edges, you'll see that some of the points are on top of each other. So just go to edit mode, go to point mode, select all, right click, and merge by distance. I just set distance to something really small, like 0 .0001, and if you check now, you can see that everything has been joined and the creases have disappeared. Now, unless you have custom anime normals or something, the last thing that you always have to check for is resetting the normals. It might look fine, but often when you merge and move points around, you actually screw up the normals. The best way to just make sure everything is fine is to just go to edit mode, go to faces, select all, mesh, normals, and reset vectors. If you see these blue lines, just switch back to line mode, right click, and clear sharp. All right, you're done. If you forget to reset the normals, you run the risk of having really creepy shadows when you export to other software like Unreal or Unity. So don't forget to do that. Okay, well, you are ready to go. If you join me next video, I'll show you the two best approaches I've found when it comes to generating facial shape keys. But in the meanwhile, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.